will begin immediate construction of a border wall. We are going to get the bad ones out, the criminals and the drug dealers and gangs and gang members and cartel leaders. The day is over when they can stay in our country and wreak havoc. He promised it was coming, and today a massive wall along the U.S.-Mexican border is one step closer to becoming a reality. But that is not the only way that President Donald Trump is planning to crack down on illegal immigration. Order also does the following, ends the policy of catch and release at the border, requires other countries to take back their criminals. They will take them back. Cracks down on sanctuary cities. Empowers ICE officers to target and remove those who pose a threat to public safety. Calls for the hiring of another 5,000 Border Patrol officers. The president continues to insist Mexico will ultimately be the one who foots the bill for the multi-billion dollar wall. For its part, Mexico says it has no intention of helping to pay for or build the wall. While whoever pays for the wall, it is having a significant symbolic impact. Mexican Canadians we have spoken to say they can't believe it's happening in this day and age. And experts we've spoken to say it will not be effective. The whole idea is so absurd. It's so absurd. I, I, I can't believe that he's going to spend money on it. Delicious. So I'm making a chipotle beef stew. Arturo Anhalt is a chef and entrepreneur who owns three businesses in Toronto, including this little cantina on Queen West. He moved here from Mexico 18 years ago and is so grateful to be a Canadian citizen, knowing how worried his Mexican friends are who live in the States. I've been visiting the U.S. all my life, and I know people who live there legally and illegally. And again, the solution is not something so draconian as building a wall. No matter how big and beautiful he says he's going to build it. It's absurd. It's an insult. The Mexicans are fully insulted and, and very fearful. We'll begin immediate construction of a border wall. It was one of his most controversial campaign promises to better protect the border between the U.S. and Mexico. It's about 2,000 miles or 3,200 kilometers long. It's not clear how long the new wall will be, but it's been suggested about half the length with natural obstacles like rugged terrain and rivers taking care of the rest. So how big will Trump's wall be? Well, that depends on the day you ask him. The number can change sometimes within the same conversation, but he has said it could be as high as 54 five feet or almost 17 meters. Try to picture that. It's as high as where I'm standing right now. And then there's the cost. Trump has said it would be between 8 and 12 billion. Other calculations are way higher, between 25 and 40 billion. The idea, of course, is the wall would prevent illegal immigrants from pouring into the country. Is this a feasible strategy? No, I don't think it's a feasible strategy at all. It's also uh, very questionable about uh, how effective this wall uh, is going to be in terms of uh, uh, fulfilling its uh, goals. How much more uh, protection uh, from uh, newcomers, unwanted newcomers, this is going to provide, I think is uh, uh, greatly, uh, greatly overestimated. The border is already highly securitized. $132 billion has been spent since 2005 on fences, drones, ground sensors, night vision surveillance cameras, helicopters and more. And the fact is there are many other ways to get into and stay in the country illegally, which a wall would do nothing to prevent. Many people enter countries legally and become illegal afterwards, so they're, they're entering as visitors. And then they're, uh, uh, you know, they overextend their stay. Also, Shield says, while many Americans believe the problem of illegal immigration is increasing, it has, in fact, dropped off drastically. Estimates are about 170,000 a year, down from 1.7 million a decade ago. While the criminal element, like drug smuggling and gangs, are factors, they're believed to be a tiny minority. It's greatly overestimated how much of a problem illegal uh, immigration is. Uh, the reality is, is that these people are uh, largely uh, working in the United States in uh, uh, industries that actually need them. Uh, the agricultural industry would largely collapse without their work. 
And there is word tonight that Mexico's president is considering canceling a planned visit with Donald Trump in Washington, D.C. next week in light of today's announcement.